Here's the truth about lying. Lying has always been part of our lives right from our childhood. We use lying as a superpower because our 6 month old brain was able to quickly sense that crying can get us what we want. The point is, we learn to fake it to fulfill our wishes. And as we progress into adulthood, lying about little things comes naturally. Even telling someone I'm fine when you're not doing well can be considered a small everyday lie. But why for some people lying becomes an unshakable habit almost like an addiction? Well, it's all about how our brain works. When you tell a lie and get away with it, your brain gives you dopamine as a feel good reward. But right after that, guilt kicks in, makes you feel nervous and stressed, which can make your heart beat faster and your blood pressure go up. But here is where it gets interesting. For someone who has mastered the art of lying, they can control their stress responses, which makes it harder to tell if they are lying or not, and they are even less detectable by polygraph tests. Now you might ask, how did they become so good at controlling their emotions? You see their addiction of lying influences prefrontal cortex which actually controls our impulsive behavior into thinking that lying isn't a bad habit so it can overlook the feeling of guilt and long term consequences of lying which basically means with each lie we tell our brain becomes more desensitized to negative emotions and it becomes easier to tell even bigger lies so think of it like in a listening to loud music at first it's too loud but if you keep listening you get used to it The same thing happens with lying. After a while, these people get caught in a cycle of lying and they don't even realize it. But what actually leads people to lie more often? As you know, the world around us sometimes makes us feel that we need to show our best side. This can lead to lying and showing off just to fit in. Some people might lie about their interests or achievements to gain social acceptance or promotion. But while doing so, they end up losing their own self-esteem. and causing severe damage to their relationships there are times when it's okay to lie not to deceive but to support and uplift someone you care and also to protect them from harm and distress however it's important to remember that even these types of lies should be used thoughtfully it's always best to foster honesty and open communication whenever possible so when was the last time you lied was it to avoid hurting someone or for personal gain